Hallelujah. Welcome everyone here at All for Jesus Church. We are now on our Sunday worship service. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are a full gospel non-sectarian, non-denominational church. We believe in Trinity that our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are one God. Let's begin worshiping our living God by singing, singing our opening song, Come Holy Spirit. Praise God. Truth, 
Lord God. And let our hearts be receptive, Lord God. And let us have an obedient heart, obedient, obedient to your words. Help us, Holy Spirit, to do the will of God. Help us, Holy Spirit, to have more thirstiness to your word, Lord God. The thirstiness to love you, Lord. To go after your heart, Lord God. And Lord, right now we pray that let every praises that you will hear from our mouth, from the inmost being, from our deepest heart, let it be, Lord, your name is lifted up. Let it be, Lord, where be, there will be salvation, there will be healing, there will be deliverance, Lord God. Today, in Jesus' name, we pray, Lord Jesus, for those people who are in jail, Lord God, people who lost their loved ones, Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, to give them comfort. We pray to be with them, Lord God, and we pray for their salvation for the loved ones, Lord God. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue to supply their needs as well, whatever the needs of these loved ones who are, who are grieving, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that let them see you are our loving God, that you are still in control in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for I, we believe, Lord God, that you will, all of us, Lord God, that you, will, you are using right now, you will hide us under the shadow of your wings, especially my Father, as he stand on this pulpit, Lord God. Let your holy word be heard, Lord God. Let the truth be heard, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for the victory today. We give you praise with all our hearts, Lord, with all our being, Lord. We are here because we love you, and we give you praise, we give you honor, and every church will say, Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalm 34, verses 1 to 4. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tears. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's worship our living God. Let's give our all. Amen. For he deserves Amen. all the glory and all the honor. Praise the Lord. We are gathered. 
Holy Spirit, they are one and they are living and they are almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's keep on praising Him and let's worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. 
glory and all the honor belongs to you and never church will agree and amen. say amen, amen and amen. amen praise the lord hallelujah may I call now my beloved mom to lead us to our tithes and offering message for today praise god <clears throat> Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Good morning, brother, sister in Christ. Welcome to all for Jesus Church International. Amen. Let's open our Bible in Malachi 3.10. Hallelujah. Amen. Bring the full tent into the storehouse so that there will be food in my house. Test me in this way says the Lord of hosts, see if I will not open the blood gates of heaven and pour out blessing for you without measures. The Lord said, try me or test me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We should believe and we give the best for the Lord. Amen. Let's bow our head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of thy Holy Spirit, Thank you, Lord God, for your presence right now, Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving us, Lord God. Although we are faithful unto you, you will be faithful to us, Lord. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your provision in our life. Thank you for the answer prayers. Thank you for healing us. Physically, mentally, spiritually, financially in our lives, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Bless your name. Right now, Lord God, hallelujah. Father, today we bring our tithes and offering to you in storehouse. We believe in your words, Lord God. And you say that you'll open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing, oh Lord God. We stand on it, Lord Jesus. We have faith on it. And we act in our faith today, Lord God, that we're going to receive everything that comes from you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, thank you, Lord God. We entrust again to you, Lord. To next week, we offer unto you, our Lord, our lives unto you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray for your protection, for love in our loved ones, Lord God. We pray for your provision in each one of us, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, hallelujah, to be with us in our job, in our families, in our businesses, Lord God, that you're going to bless, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we pray for people who give the tithes and offering today that you're going to bring them back hundred folks, Lord Jesus. And we pray, all those people who cannot give today, Lord God, we pray that you're going to give them, Lord God, hallelujah, blessing that comes from you, Lord God, a job that comes from you, Lord God, that they will be faithful unto you, Lord God, to give, Lord God, in return, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for everything, Lord God. Hallelujah. We bring back the glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Here at All for Jesus Church, we believe that your tithes belong to your local church. But if you believe All for Jesus Church is your home, please give your money order or your check address to All for Jesus Church, All for Jesus Church. And you can mail it at P.O. Box 30653, Elmont, New York, 11003. May I call now my beloved daughter to lead us to our scripture reading for today. Praise God. 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. Yet for us there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for Him. And one Lord, Jesus Christ, through who... Through who whom are all things and through whom we live. Also, the Lord said in John 10, verse 30, I and, the, and my Father are one. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Pastor Isaiah T. Sunquan Jr. Amen. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Melody Faith. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We welcome you all here in All for Jesus Church International. We thank you for being with us today, this morning, at our Sunday worship service. We are also live on Facebook, as well as in YouTube. 
Our gospel lesson today is about the Holy Trinity. Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this day, this wonderful day that you have given unto us once more, Lord. We thank you for this day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Father. Be with us today, Lord, in our service as we declare our victory that you have given unto us. Be with us today, Lord, as we declare your holy words to all nations. We thank you, Father, and cover us with your most precious blood, Lord, and protect us, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. Let this message, Lord, be a blessing to others. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our topic for today is entitled, Who are the Father? The Son and the Holy Spirit. You have learned many things about what God is like, man. You have learned that He is the one true God who is His personal being, yet invisible, amen. You have learned that God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. In this lesson, we will study a truth about God that is difficult to explain, but it's an important truth that Christians believe by faith through the study of the Bible. Amen? Many people believe there is a God who created the heavens and the earth. Many people believe in Jesus and what He taught. What many people don't believe is that Jesus is the Son of God. They think Jesus was just a good teacher who lived on earth many years ago. However, the Bible tells us that Jesus is truly the Son of God. Amen. It also tells us that the Holy Spirit is God. Some people accuse Christians of believing in three different gods. They say that God the Father is one God. Jesus, the Son of another God, and the Holy Spirit is the third God. The Bible tells us, however, that God is not three gods, amen? He is one God in three persons, amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This is called Trinity, amen? amen. It means that God is one God in three persons. He is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This may seem difficult to fully understand, and indeed it is, but God is better than our understanding. Amen? This great truth of the Trinity is one that the Bible reveals to us and we believe to be true in faith. Non-Christians and new Christians, there is one question that they would automatically and unavoidably ask, is Jesus God? The, the question comes because we say that Jesus was the perfect man who died on the cross for our sins, amen? Yet, we also say that Jesus was the Son of God, and we must follow Him as our Lord, amen? And so the question repeatedly asked, Is Jesus God or man? Should I follow Jesus? Or should I follow God? Or are there three gods? God the Father, God the Son, and the God and the Holy Spirit. These are all questions about Trinity. All Christians 
believe in the doctrine of Trinity. If you do not believe, if you do not believe this, you have come to settled conclusion that the doctrine of the Trinity is not true. Then, you are not a Christian at all. Amen? You are in fact a lone ranger. In other words, you are an unconventional person. Those words may be harsh, but they represent the judgment of the church across the centuries. Christian in every land unite in proclaiming that our God eternally exists as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those who deny that, those who deny the truth, place themselves outside the weak and poor of the authorized and generally accepted Christian doctrine. Having said that I admit that no one fully understands it, it is a mystery and mystification. I can think at least three reasons for believing in the Trinity. Number one, the Bible teaches this doctrine. Amen. Number two, Christian everywhere have always believed it. Number three, no other explanation makes sense. Someone had said, if you try to explain the Trinity, you will lose your mind. But if you deny it, you will lose your soul. Amen. Christian most of the time is struggle with the idea of the Holy Trinity. It is something very important to Christian belief. But it can be hard to understand because it seems like a total puzzle and contradiction. How can Christians who talk about one God and one God only believe in Him being three saints? If you ask these questions, would you know to un answer them? What does it mean that God is Trinity? Three persons but one God. To answer this, Let's consider John chapter 14. Amen. Jesus said, Believe in me. Be believe in God. Believe also in me. John 14 verse 1. If Jesus is not God, such command will be blasphemous. God does not share his glory with others. Amen. Jesus continues, In my Father's house, are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have you that I go to prepare a place for you. In John 14 verse 2. Notice, Jesus not only called God his Father, man, but claims he can reserve a place for us in heaven. These are also claims to divinity. Amen. In John chapter 6, we read an account of the Jews in seeking to kill Jesus. Not only because he was breaking the Sabbath, but all the more he called God his own father, man, making himself equal with God. John 6 verse 18, when Jesus calls himself, I am. He is using God's divine name. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and life. Jesus claims to be the eternal Son of God in human flesh. Amen. He is divine, fully God, and fully human. Therefore, Christ is the only way to the Father. Amen. John 14 verse 6, Jesus famously declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father through me, except through me. Notice that Jesus doesn't claim to be one way. 
because Christ is fully God and fully human. He is fully qualified to offer the perfect sacrifice for sin on the cross. Amen. For that reason, without faith in Christ, including a belief in His full divinity, people will be lost. Amen. We must share the gospel with everyone. Most of the time, at funerals, yung lamayan, people speak in quiet, blurred, or distorted terms. They murmur or whisper, He is in a better place. His, her suffering is over. They say this, even if they were not Christians, they will say they were so sincere, they were so religious, or they did so many good things. And that may be true, but none of our kindness or good works will qualify us for a place or a spot in heaven. Amen. The Son Amen. is the only way to the Father. Amen. Amen. We believe that the one God eternally exists in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that these three are one God, co-equal and co-eternal, having precisely the same nature and characteristics, ability and worthy of precisely the same worship and confidence and obedience. Matthew 3 verses 16 to 17, Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20, Mark 12 Mar verse 29, John 1 verse 14, Acts 5 verses 3 and 4, and 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14. While I am sure that this is statement is biblically accurate, man. I also understand that I, it can seem very intimidating. Now, let's break it down into six smaller statements about the Trinity that makes easier to understand. One God and one only exists in three persons, equal, and eternal. He created us, amen, for a purpose that He plays. He placed us in a particular nation, race, and culture. He does not make mistakes, amen, and He has a long-term plan for our well-being. He specially selected the unique set of parents He gave us. He invites each of us to have such a close and special relationship with Him through our faith in Jesus. Amen. We may call God Abba, just as Jesus does. Abba is an intimate every word meaning Daddy. How does one become a child of God? A person becomes a, his child by placing his trust in Jesus Christ as Lord, so that their sins can be forgiven, amen. They are then adopted into his family. Each one of us can make a choice to belong to him, but God does not only adopt us and then disappear from the scene. He wants to be with us, amen talking with us and walking with us every day of our lives, whether we begin to know Him at the age of 65 or 75, it doesn't really matter. Amen. When we begin the Christian life, we only start out as little children in the family of God. Amen. Matthew 18 verse, 8, verse 3, He sent His Holy Spirit to live in our hearts, to guide us, and soon we begin to grow by feeding on the Word of God. And yes, 
like all children, we make some mistakes along the way, amen? But like a good earthly father, our heavenly father will discipline and correct us because he loves us, amen? Now, we come to Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity. You and I are adopted children of God, but the Bible calls Jesus as the only begotten Son of God. John 3, 16 and 1 John 4, verse 9. The phrase only begotten is translated from a Greek compound word that comes from the words bonus, meaning only. Jesus was born as a human child, made from the very nature and character of God, so that He is the Son of God by nature, amen, as the one and only Son of God. During His time on earth, He was able to reveal the Father to us, like no other person before and since. Jesus was not created unlike you and me. He is eternal, like God the Father, having no beginning and no end. Man. The Bible calls Him the living Word who has always existed. First John 1 verses 1 to 3. Another name for Jesus in the Bible is Emmanuel, man, which means God with us. That's because Jesus is God. He shares all the characteristics and quality of God the Father, including omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. The Bible tells us that from the beginning, Jesus was like God in everything. Man. He, has, he was equal with God the Father was something to hold on to. He gave up his place with God in heaven and made himself nothing. Philippians 6 verses 2 to 7. He allowed himself to be born as human baby to a lowly family with no wealth or social status. As a child in the village of Nazareth, Jesus also faced with all same temptations that challenge you and me, man. And yet, he never sinned. Hebrews 4 verse 15. A man of about 30 years old, Jesus began to traveling the countryside, teaching about the Father and his kingdom. He only thought that the Father told him to say. He was called the Messiah and the Christ Literally, the anointed one. Amen. Jesus attracted a great many followers, but he called 12 of them to be his apostles, whom he trained and taught that sent into the world to make followers of everyone who believed their message. Some of his followers wanted Jesus to make himself an earthly king. To destroy the Roman occupiers in Jerusalem. However, Jesus told them he did not come to serve, but to serve others, amen, and give and to give his life as a ransom to many. Mark 10, verse 45. He was the ultimate expression of God's love for us. Therefore, if we want to know God, we must look at Jesus. Amen? Many people think about what God is like. So, they construct and build gods in image of men. But Christians believe that God came down to earth. We don't need to search Him. Amen? He revealed Himself fully in Christ. Jesus says, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Amen. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but 
the Father who dwells in me. That's the works. John 14 verses verse 10 letter B. With God. We see mutual dwelling. Jesus says, I am in the Father. And the Father is in me. John 14 verse 10 letter A. And in John 10 verse 30. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Amen. Now, we come to the third person of the Trinity. God is God the Holy Spirit. For centuries, He was called the Holy Ghost. And an, and an heir of mystery. If not his scariness and creepiness surrounded this person. In the Old Testament, which was written in Hebrew, the word used to talk about the Spirit literally means wind. In the New Testament, which was written mostly Greek, the word used to talk about the Spirit means breath. Man. Sometimes, the Holy Spirit is called the breath of God. There has been much confusion over who or what the Holy Spirit is. Many people throughout the ages have thought the Holy Spirit more, gen more, more just a thing than a person. Nothing could be farther from the truth. He is God. In John 14 verses 15 to 26, we see that the Holy Spirit is also a divine person. Amen? Sometimes, we talk about the Holy Spirit as an it, it, an impersonal, an unconcerned power. To quote the movie Star Wars, may the force be with you, <laughs> but the spirit is not a force, amen. He is a person. He is the third person of the Trinity, amen. That's why in these verses, he is referred to as he. It's E, not it, IT. The word neither sees him, man, nor knows him. For he dwells in you and be with you. John 14, verse 17. You cannot have a relationship with a spoon, kuchara, or plate, plato, your favorite plant, or your own car. But we can know the scripture because he is a person. He teaches the disciples, John 14, verse 26. He gives gifts, regalo, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. He can be grieved and lied to. These are the things only a person can do as Christians. Amen? We are not abandoned by the Father or by the Son, by the Spirit. Both the Father and the Son had come to dwell in us. Thy Spirit live within us. Amen. Amen. Changing our lives. Changing our hearts. Amen. Giving us faith. And transforming our lives. Amen. Clearly the Bible tells us. The Lord is thy Spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. Yes, but if Amen. we are Christian. Then. God the Father. And God the Son dwell in us. We have taken, they have taken residence, amen, in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That means we cannot be any closer to God than we are today. We might feel far from God when we sin or when we are suffering. But in reality, we are not, amen. Jesus says, I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. John 14 verse 20. Such in the intimacy we have with God, through the Holy Spirit, we are united with the Son, and with the Father. We too experience that mutual indwelling. At this point, I think, we should acknowledge the main and chief objection to the doctrine of the Trinity, which is that it is irrational and senseless. Sometimes, 
one religious group is pointedly, pointedly denied the Trinity, ridicule and discredit with this little equation, one plus one plus one equals three. In their minds, Christians worship three gods, not only one, not that one. The answer is quite simple. The doctrine of the Trinity is not outrageous and senseless. If the Bible teaches, furthermore, there is more than one way to play the equation. You could also say it in this way. One times one times one equals one. Amen. Today, we can experience a close, intimate relationship with God. As Christians, we can call God Father. We can know that Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Amen. We can know the Holy Spirit dwells in our heart, changing us from within so that we truly love others. The God of the Bible is personal and we can know, we can know Him personally. We can know the Father through the Son by the Spirit. The fact that God is triune, three persons in eternal relationship, reminds us that relationship are what life is about. Life is not about possession, belongings, miscellaneous things, or items. Life is not success. It's about a loving relationship with our Lord. Amen. Although the three persons of the Trinity are equally divine, they have different rules. The Father is the creator and origin. He chooses plans and wills. The Son is the fulfiller. Amen. He obeys the Father and does His will. Thy Spirit dwells in us, pointing us to the Father and the Son. Amen. As the people made in God's image, we see that the same diversity in our human relationship. We are all equally human and equally valuable to God. As those who believe in the triune God, we look forward to spending eternity in the Father's house. Amen. And there we will know Him forever. Amen. But Christ is the only way to the Father. Amen. And it's only the, by the Spirit works. But we will ever come to recognize Christ as our Lord. And God as our Father. And so be saved. Amen. To God be the glory. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your message, Lord. Your wonderful message for today's Lord. We thank you, Father, and be with us again. Uh, next next week to our Sunday worship service. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, we come to our Holy Communion. Thank you. you can do this, uh, brothers and sisters, even on a daily basis to remember our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of our sins. The Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed to bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, take it, this in my body, which is all, which is all, which is broken for your do, for you to do this in remembrance of me. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse twenty to twenty-four. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, "This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this 
as often as you drink it, and remember us of me. For as we often as you eat this bread, and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. Father, we come to you this table as your guest, resting only in the worthiness of your Son. As we look upon the emblems of our Savior's death, we may remember why he died, to cleanse and to heal, to satisfy our righteousness and justice. We remember his eternal love and boundless grace. We may receive as the assurance of forgiveness, eternal life, and the hope of glory. As the bread and cup nourish our body, so may your indwelling Holy Spirit strengthen our soul until the day of Christ appearing when we will hunger and thirst no more and sit with him and at this heavenly table. Amen. Let's partake the bread. And let's partake the juice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the victory. Amen. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, here at Alfred Jesus Church, if you have any testimonies or prayer requests, we encourage you to write us at Alfred Jesus Church at yahoo.com all for jesus church at yahoo.com amen hallelujah it's good to be in the house of the lord and let's now prepare our hearts to sing our victory song i'm calling the praise and worship team hallelujah praise god let's sing the song my redeemer lives who lives forever jesus christ amen praise god <laughs> Thank you, brothers and sisters. God bless.